Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is PJ, I'm here with Ross. Hi. And we got John Armstrong over here. Hello. And today we are looking at Estering in uh, Dirt Rally 2.0, which is releasing on August 13th as part of Season 2 and as part of the deluxe content and all of that good stuff. But before we get to the gameplay, um, we've got some time here with our uh, game director Ross, um, some valuable um, time and insight here into the development of Estering, and we just wanted to um, have a quick uh, have a quick word about that. Sure thing. What, what would you like to know? <laughs> so um, this is part of the FIA World Rally Cross Championship. Um, um, it has been in use since 2014, and this year they're doing the Euro Rally Cross at that location in August as well. Uh, so what are the challenges in using a, um, a real-life um, circuit in the game? Um, well, I mean, obviously trying to make sure you, you replicate it as accurate as possible um, is the key. So uh, we send a, uh, a kind of researcher out there and um, he goes out there at a race weekend, make sure he takes pictures of all of the barriers, all of the crowd structures, all of the track layout, um, absolutely everything, making sure that we can make it feel like an event is, is properly going on there. If you go and research track, you know, on a, on a weekday, generally they're empty. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure we're there at the right time. Uh, we have a lot of footage recorded of the track being driven, um, both at race speed um, in WRX, and then we also have the researcher drive a kind of a, a, a normal car around as the event's shutting down, so that we can make sure all of our metrics there are correct. Um, World RX are really generous with the the material they give us uh, in terms of track dimensions and layout plans and and everything like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it all comes together to, to kind of make a, make a track that feels like it's, it's real and that there's, there's real racing going on there. Mm, sounds like a lot of work. So I imagine, for example, with your research crew out there and everything, you have thousands, thousands of photographs of every corner, every location, where all the sponsor boards are, everything else. And then it goes to, I guess, goes to the art and level design teams. Is yeah, so it goes to our level design team who will uh, spend some time white boxing uh, the, the the circuit, which is basically getting the track playable and uh, making sure that everything's in the right place. Everyone's happy with any tweaks or alterations that we needed to make, and then it goes through to our environment art team, mm -hmm. who then make it look like the photographic reference. So the white box is essentially, as the name implies, a white box. So it's it's uh, it's pretty much just make the g it's just surfaces that the cars can drive on within the game code and and all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, there are some textures in there. Yeah, so yeah. you know we'll have the uh, yeah the the asphalt sections and the gravel sections uh, done properly, and then mm -hmm. the grass runoff areas and barriers in place, um, and some of the major. Uh, location features as well, um, so that you can get a real feel to make sure that, that things are accurate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's kind of a uh, an early test version at that stage, mm -hmm. and then uh, then the art team go in and and yeah, polish and, and polish pretty it, it up it. essentially. Yeah. yeah, well yeah, put all of the additional structure in, or do all of the lighting, all of the sky boxes, all of the weather conditions, everything like that. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a quite an in depth process, but. Mm. Um, yeah, it's it's great seeing the track go from a research pack on uh, you know on a hard drive somewhere <laughs> all the way through to uh, finished playable in game out there with the players racing mm -hmm. on it. And, you know that's one of the most satisfying things of, of working on mm. on this game is yeah. that process. Yeah, and as we'll see later on, it looks really impressive. Um, it looks as close to real as we can get it, which is pretty high standards. It's pretty it's pretty much up there. Um, I guess there's also challenges with. Um, with doing the different conditions, like I guess lighting um, for like um, sunshine and rain and cloud and all that, and, but I guess th it, that's part of the overall game engine because um, it's using um, it's using p uh, physics based rendering. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, physical based rendering. Uh, the I mean, our lighting guy is is super talented. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, the the dramatic skies he's able to to get into the sky box and then uh, the, you know the positioning of the sun and the way things things are lit by that um, is, is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, he, he'll set up various different kind of lighting conditions for it and then our uh, VFX team have uh, the rain that they've, uh, they've done to, uh, to, for design to then set up 
with the appropriate skybox and then we have uh, obviously the kind of the puddling and water on the surface of the track as well and mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's uh, there's, a, there's a good variety in mm. there for, for players yeah and unlike the uh, the rally courses in the game uh, rally cross is a circuit it's a loop and it also has the um, it also has the unique feature rally cross of a joker lap so I guess that's um, that's a different challenge in terms of um, creating something playable for all like the in-game triggers like um, making sure that joker laps are completed or if penalty jokers come in I guess that's yeah, and because I imagine with rally um, not to not not to talk down or anything like that, it's essentially point to point so um, I guess there's um, there's challenges in making the rule set fit um, the real life rally cross. Well, I mean, so we'd obviously done all of the uh, the kind of the game structure and race structure when when the game came out. Mm -hmm. We had we had a bunch of race stuff in there. One of the particular challenges we found with uh, with Estering actually was um, the Joker lap has a, a kink in it that when we were making the the AI for it, they would always they would always clip the inside barrier, um, and you'd end up with a pile up in <laughs> the in the Joker lap every time. Um, but uh, our AI guys, uh, you know, worked hard on that to uh, go through the process of training the AI to mm -hmm. take a slightly wider line um, around that, uh, that that barrier in the Joker. And um, so yeah, they, they get through it cleanly now at, at, at a good pace. Um, so yeah, that was one of the, the particular challenges here. And making sure that the AI can can drive at, at a comparable pace uh, to, to kind of real life. Now I know some people have looked at real life lap times against our in-game lap times and there are some slight differences there but I think in uh, in a game you, you you don't have those real life risks of well yeah. if I if I drop it here I'm, I might crash the car yeah, horrifically yeah. you can uh, just hit so restart a couple of times and uh, you learn it and you, you you can try it a thousand times compared to the right across people who obviously they go there every year but they only have three days to test yeah, I mean, no one wants to, to make a mistake that's going to cost them hundred thousand uh, pounds in in car repairs. Whereas in in game, you know, you can you can afford to throw it at it yeah, as hard yeah. as you like, and you can turn off the damage. Well, to a degree, uh, you can turn well, off the hardcore damage. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You can go normal damage or, or hardcore damage. Mm. Yeah, but uh, no, it's uh, it's great fun to play, and mm. uh, yeah, really looking forward to to the community getting it getting it in their hands and, and having another uh, another great rallycross venue to, to play with. Yeah, yeah, and um, speaking of when you can get in all that, we're um, we're recording this ahead of time, obviously, for production and all that um, and all that process, just to make sure everything is the highest quality we can get it. Um, but this is going live. Uh, premiere is on Monday, the day before the DLC, so depending on where you are in the world and time difference and platform and all that, it may be available already for you in-game. Uh, so check your storefront then, but um, for the majority of people it will be available on Tuesday, August the 13th. Um, so it will not be available at midnight exactly because it's a rolling release depending on how different regions work and how different platforms work. Um, so, for example, it might be live at midnight in New Zealand, but uh, you might have to, if you're, in, if you're in the US, you might need to wait a little bit longer in the day. But by the end of the day, everybody will have it, and it'll be, um, it'll be quite some fun. And speaking of fun, we are going to, myself and John here, we are going to start racing. But before that, Ross, you're a busy man. You're doing all sorts of um, rally content, past, present, and future. So um, I, th I think it's best we leave you um, get to it. and. Okay, yeah. sure thing. Well, <laughs> thanks very much, and yeah, hope everyone um, enjoys the track and uh, enjoys watching uh, John and PJ drive it. So, mm, nice thank one. You. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you for your time. Cheers. <laughs>
another four tenths, we can make up the position.